Foxes, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany from Shop Foxborough. I am Shop Foxborough on Poshmark, Instagram, and Etsy. Or if you are new to this channel, welcome. Um, first, a little announcement, and that is that if you are not following me on Instagram, you might not know, but I did get chosen to be a speaker at Poshfest this year. I'm going to be speaking about branding and so I am excited to see what I can bring to the table and uh, let me know down in the comments below what you would like to hear about in a branding session um, from Poshmark. So today I have another haul video for you but for this haul I went to Goodwill just a regular Goodwill store and I didn't have my phone with me. <laughs> I'd just woken up from a nap I was pretty grumpy and having like a bad day and I had to run an errand and there was a Goodwill nearby and I got most of the way to the errand and then realized that I had left my phone on the bed and that I did not have it with me. So I went to this Goodwill and I found some stuff that I don't really know the brands but they seem good. So I thought that it would be a little bit fun if um, we kind of looked up comps together and I tell you why I picked up the item. So first things first, I got this white button down tee. Well, it's a, not a tee, it's a, just a button down shirt, but it has this embroidery here on the front. And I thought that that was very cute and it has the little pointed collar and the brand is Wallman and it definitely looked like an older tag and then the label here the sizing is 36 which is European and then I went into the hem or into the side hem to look for a tag and when I found it it looks very faded and it says simply made in Austria. And then it has some um, very faint care instructions on the back with an extra two buttons. So this is 100% cotton. Um, and so this certainly came after the 70s, but I thought this might be vintage either way. Um, with it being Austrian, I really love the aesthetic of it. And let me look it up and see what I can find. So this is just an Austrian website. Um, and I see a lot of like journals and stuff like that. But it says, Wallman has stood for the highest quality since 1957 in craftsmanship, timeless design, and use of the finest materials. The exclusive ladies' blouses are particularly noteworthy for their high degree of manufacturing skill an unmistakable love for um, detail. Here's a dirndl top that's sold on, or is on eBay now for $40. So I expect about something like that, like $35 um, for this top. But it is very nicely made. All right, so that was one. The next one, the reasons that I got this were one, I love the aesthetic of it. Two, I loved the color of it. So it's this like faint sagey mint color. Um, and three, three, <laughs> it's an Australian brand. So it's got a little tag here. It says designed in Australia, Shopo is the name of the brand and it's got back buttons um australian brands tend to do pretty well they do sell them on sites like mod cloth um and though i have not heard of this particular brand i just thought that this style was so cute um that i really had to get it so this is a size eight and it has pockets which was also in its favor. And so let's look this up and see how much it goes for. Oh, this is a really cute brand. These are some cute things. So 
It looks like this probably would have retailed for around $55 or $60. Um, and let's see what the resale is. It's a couple on Poshmark, really not many, um, but they are listed for about 45 to 58. Let's see if there's any sold comps here. Okay, yeah. So the brand does come up on Poshmark, which is good. So I'm not just like shooting into the void here. Solds, let's see. 22, just trying to find things that are similar. Um, 24, 26, 30. All right, so somewhere around like that 25 to 30 dollar mark. I would probably still have bought this just because I love the aesthetic um, of it, but yeah, it's just really cute. Definitely has that like cottage core, um, just like cutesy mod cloth look to it. This one I didn't even have to look up. I like I wouldn't have looked this up even if I had my phone. Um, this is a no joke <laughs> Moda International, which you can see here, blue velvet catsuit. <laughs> so it is dark blue velvet. It is like fitted and it is just it is a catsuit and it has a uh, keyhole in <laughs> right in the bust and I was like oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's good so um I don't know let's see this was six dollars and then I got 20% off with my card so probably like 420 or something like that but um yeah I am not sure what I'm going to charge for this one but I can imagine it's gonna be somewhere forty dollars or above uh, just because <laughs> it's a blue velvet catsuit. Like, where, y where else are you going to find that? The next one, this is not a brand that I would normally um, find in the wild, but it's W118 by Walter Baker. Here's the tag. And I'm familiar with Walter Baker. This is probably just like one of his more like Nordstrom like lines, like less valuable sort of thing. Uh, but it's a pretty dress and it is pretty nicely made. Let's see what it's made out of. This one I primarily bought for the name thinking that I could hopefully send it into ThreadUp once they revive their ability to send stuff in, because right now they won't let me have a label. So let's look this up and see what we could get if we sold it on Poshmark. So there's really not a lot of comps on here. Um, let me take it off my size. We're looking at probably like 30 bucks. Yeah, here's a similar one, 25, 30, 39. Um, here's the same one for 18, that's not good. So if I had looked up the comps for this one in the store, I probably would not have bought it. Next up, there's not gonna be any comps for this one. It is just a vintage, um, long like tunicky blouse but I loved the kind of like artsy print it has this like kind of split ruffled collar here um and just a very bold print and it's silk so I thought that this would be really cute with like leggings um or tucked into some high-waisted jeans I just thought that that had a lot of panache and I liked it this one I got to take to my vintage booth that I have at a local consignment store and it is just a scale stre stretchy belt with like this plastic 
um, buckle in the middle and this one if I were selling this online I would probably get around $20 for it but since I'm putting it in my booth and I just pay a fee and then I get you know um, I just pay like a monthly fee and then I get my payments for the full value of whatever it sells for I would put this in my booth for about $12 Okay, these are a pair of 1822 jeans. I do tend to do decent with this brand. They are a size 14. Um, again, that like $4.80-ish um, price point for me to buy it. And I have no idea... These don't have like a style name on them, so I'm going to probably guesstimate about $25 for these, maybe more. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. Wow, these are really bad. 20, 12, 20. I sell mine for more than that, that's for sure. Let's see what I've sold mine for. 24, 47, 15. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have bought these. <laughs> All right, well, at least they're a good size, so size 14. And they are definitely high rise, so that's good. Oh, these were just, I bought these for my booth. They are a pair of vintage black um this is washing out the camera but they're just black wide leg um trouser or not trouser pants but just like lounge pants but they have this elastic waist with a drawstring in them and the reason that I got these was one they were half off so they were under three dollars and two they are silk rayon and a size extra large so I don't know if you've ever felt um, silk rayon velvet, but it's very soft and very flowy and comfortable and breathable. Um, and so those will be a nice addition to my booth because when I pay less for things, it lets me put them into my booth for less. This was another one that I almost didn't get this, but it was half off. So it was, you know, under three bucks and it is this button-down shirt but it has these like big bell sleeves and then it's got sequins and like this metallic swirl pattern and this feels like a cotton gauze but it says that it's 100% silk and it is from India so I don't know I just thought it was interesting and I'm gonna look it up we'll see Okay, well I can find absolutely nothing on this, so I am going to probably hope to get somewhere around like the $20, $25 price point for this, um, but I might actually end up putting it in my booth, so we'll see, but that one I kind of knew was risky, but the label was tacked on very nicely, and it is a it's nice looking nice label, yes. and then with it being... 100% silk and having the interesting pattern and the interesting sleeve. I was like, you know, I'm going to take a chance. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, and we'll see. Uh, these, this one I wouldn't have needed to look up comps for. This is just a, an uh, Indian rayon gauze skirt free size with the bells on the drawstring and I took three of these into my booth and all of them sold within I think two weeks so I'll be taking this into my booth and I sold them for around 15 to 18 dollars a piece. And I picked up another skirt for my booth. I think this is also an Indian brand and I don't think I'm going to find any information on it. Um, here is the label, but it's just a very pretty cotton. Um, I just really liked the print. It's got this like pleated little hemline and it's got some 
um, loops here. So it may have originally had a sash, but it did not have one with it at the time. And then it's got, you know, an invisible zipper. And so it's very nicely made, but this one I just got to put in my booth and I'm going to do about $18 for that one. 15 to 18, something like that. All right, now these two look like something. This one I thought looked familiar, the name, but it is Mia Joy. And it is a beaded top, it's new with tags. Um, and I believe it was polyester and rayon. And yeah, I'm gonna look this up. So it looks like the brand is Joyfolle, um, which was the URL that's on the tag. And prices are kind of everywhere. Let's see. So it looks like dresses going between like 30 to 70, tops 30-ish. Uh, yeah, about 30. This one is new with tag, so it's at least something, but probably about $30 or so when all is said and done. So I did actually expect a little bit better with this one, but that's okay still. It's not like I'm going to lose money on it. Um, again, I paid like the $480 for it. Oh yeah, I bought this for myself, a little brass duck trinket dish. Um, all right, and this was the last one. I really, I almost didn't get this, but you know, I had during this video in mind and figured, you know, it's all right. So the brand is Mosca and it's got this very nice, like, um, it's very nicely constructed. The fabric is very nice. It's got these like ruffled shoulders and it's just a kind of nautical inspired cardigan. Um, and let's see what this brand is. So this one's kind of mixed. Um, there's definitely some low comps, um, but then there's some around like the $35 range. Um, but mostly on the lower side. So, so somewhere probably around the, um, I don't know, $25 to $30 range. I will tell you that comps are not everything. So there's been a million times where I've looked up comps on things and they're just really bad. And, um, you know, I'll take good photos of them and give all the information and just build that buyer confidence. And I will get sometimes two, three, four times what other people have gotten for the same item. And so I look at these comps with like a grain of salt. You know, if I were in the store and I saw those comps, I probably wouldn't have picked this up. But on the same hand, do I think I can make my money back and bend some and do all right with it? Yes, because the style is there and I think it's cute. So if I think it's cute, then I will be excited to put it in my Poshmark closet. So that is what I picked up when I didn't have my phone with me. My Goodwills, we don't really get a lot of like, I don't think I've ever found anything designer at that Goodwill. Um, I used to find some designer stuff at Salvation Army, but they have closed in my area, which is very depressing. And so for the most part, I feel like Goodwill around here is pretty good at picking out all the designer stuff and they just put it online. So you really don't see that stuff in the stores. The only times that you really see something is if it's a brand that um, kind of flies under the radar and I don't see a lot of that here. I'm not upset with this haul. I'll absolutely make my money back on all of this stuff and then probably three or four times that. And so yeah, I'm happy, but this is what I picked up and it was fun looking up the comps with you guys. And um, 
let me know down in the comments what your favorite thing was that I picked up and what you would absolutely not have picked up uh, because that always interests me because I feel like resellers are always looking at different things and we're interested in different things and I will watch some people's hauls and be like you know I wouldn't have picked up any of that stuff but they're making money so it's just very interesting to see what the different items are that resellers pick up yeah so that's it and I hope that I will see you in my next video bye